So when it comes to React testing library and Jest in general, there's quite a lot of topics to cover. But what I want to do is specifically focus on the Apollo client testing, in particular the mocked provider, because we are using GraphQL and the Apollo provider in here. This basically gives us an example where we have a mock in here and then we test to see if that mock works. So essentially we want to test to see if the query works and then also if the right text is rendering onto our relevant components in here so going back into our code what i want to do is create a test for this use all films hook so if we do that i have created a new folder underscore tests in here so all i want to do in here is just create a index.test.tsx file in here and before I do anything, I also have a mocks folder. So in here, this is where I want to put in all of our mocks for the tests that I use in this application. So if I create a file in here, and I'm just going to call this all films.tsx because you could have different queries. So you could have an individual film, which we are not covering in this one, but essentially the individual film is essentially the same query as this one, but instead it takes in an ID. And this is shown in the documentation over in the Star Wars app here. So essentially if you delete that and go back you pass in the film and then you can choose the argument that it takes. So you can pass in the ID and then fetch the relevant data like so. And then you would, instead of this ID here, you would replace it with another ID. But for now, we'll leave that on this project. So going back in here, I've got a mocks file now of all films. And the first mock I want to do is essentially all of the films data, which is what we receive from our queried data from the application. So if I paste that in, essentially, instead of having six films, I've just got one object in here, which is for the title of A New Hope. You could put in anything in here. You could change the ID and so on. This is just a mock so that we can use for our mocked data. So if you think about what this all films data is doing, if we go into the use all films hook in here, essentially what we expect is the data to be the same data of what we have created in here, which is the all films data. So that is the outcome we would test for once we have the object of the data coming back. The loading will be a Boolean and then the error will be a new Apollo error. So we will test all three of them in our unit test. So if I create a describe block, first of all, and we also need to, on every after each method here, we just need to add a cleanup, which comes from testing library in React. And the first describe block is essentially going to test if use all fill hooks works correctly, then and is successful, what do we expect to be the outcome? So we also need to do the same thing again, but for when it errors. So use all film hook when it errors. And we will look at this one later on. So in here, what I want to do is I want to kind of mimic the hook. So essentially mimic the use query hook in here, passing in the successful and errored response, and then expecting the data to equal something, the loading to equal something and the error. So I now need to create a custom hook, which I'm going to create. It's essentially going to be a wrapper. So in our mocks here, underneath all films data first of all what i want to do is create a successful mock of what happens when we successfully mock the use film talk and we also want a errored mock of the use film talk like so which is fine but we need some sort of wrapper that mimics the functionality of the use all films custom hook so let's create that now so this can be reused across both when we just pass in the relevant mock for success or error and then this is what we will return so it'll become more clear when we work through it together so first of all i'm going to create a function so i'm going to export this function so export function of get all films wrapper i'm going to call it which is essentially a function that takes in an argument and in this function we return something as well so in here we would return a result so i'm going to leave this for now we need to declare a few things in here the first thing we need to declare is get all films wrapper receive some sort of mock data so i'm going to pass this in here so mock data and this is going to be of type mock to response which comes from apollo client so i will import this in so this is essentially comes in at the top which is a mock response of apollo client testing so the mock response we expect is going to be an array and then what i also want to do is add a fallback in here of just an empty array which is essentially if there's no mock data pass then just pass in an empty array here so that's the first part done the second part is i want to create a wrapper so 
let's declare a variable for that. So const wrapper is equal to, this is like a higher order component where it receives children. So it's going to be mocked provider. So this is in the documentation and it receives children, which is coming from here. And this is going to be react.props with children. Just comment this out for now. And mocked provider is also coming from Apollo client testing. So what this is, is the same as the Apollo provider, which is in our index.tsx here, which is essentially mimicking the Apollo provider, but it's a little different. The client is going to be the mocks, which is here is equal to the mock data that we pass in. And then we can also add the type name of false, which essentially is removing the type name that gets added onto the object that we fetch the data from. So we're having the mock provider and we're passing in the children in here. So that is the wrapper now. And if I save, first of all, so now I've created the wrapper. I want to now get access to the render hook coming from testing library. So let's get that and get the result in here. So I want to destructure the result from the render hook method. So we could do it like so, which is render hook coming from testing library. And then the first argument is going to be the hook that I have created, which is use all films in here and then the second argument is the wrapper so all i want to now do is return the result in here like so so now i have created a mimicking function when we pass in these mock data in here it will then return and mimic the functionality of this use all films hook in here like so so if I now get access to this in our test, so I just need to save first of all. What I also need to do is destructure in here like that. And then if I go into my first describe block here and test a successful response. So what I now need to do is destructure the result I'm getting. So const result is equal to get all films wrapper, which we need to import in from our relevant file. I'm just going to add a quick fix in here. And then what we now need to do is do something with the results. So I'm going to do a it block first of all. And the first test I want to do is expect result to be defined. So let's check if that is defined. So now if I save and press this button here on the left, this means now the test is passing and we are now getting a result to be defined. So that is the first part of the test working correct. What I also want to do is rename this, which is essentially should be refined and return the correct data. So now that test is passing. What I want to do is pass in a successful argument into here or a successful mock. And I also want to do the same for the error mock. So in our mocks folder in here, all we now need to do is create a successful mock and an errored mock. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to export a constant of a successful mock, and I'm just going to call it successful all films mock to be more specific. And this is going to be an array, which essentially has a request and a result. So essentially the query is going to be the query we have made. So if we go in query, it is essentially get all films. That is the query we want, and we need to import that in. And then the data, we receive once successful is the all film data that we have defined just above over here. So that is the successful all films mock there. I also want to infer this type as the mock to response, which is coming from here. So let's copy that and paste that in here because this is a mock to response coming from the Apollo client slash testing library in here. So that one is complete now. We also need to do the same for an errored mock. So let's copy this, paste it in here. And uh, this is going to be called errored all films mock like so. This again has a mock response. It has the same request, but this time we don't receive a result. We receive an error. So let's put an error in here. And what I want to do is be more specific with this error. So this is an Apollo error, like so. And in this Apollo error, we get GraphQL errors. So what I want to do is control space, import in the Apollo error at the top as well from the Apollo client. In here, I have an object and this object will return a GraphQL errors here. And this is an array. And in here, it will be new GraphQL error, which also we need to import. So let's go down to this one. And let me import that in as well. And the GraphQL error is essentially, oops, the fetch was unsuccessful, something like that. And then what we need to do is close this off this array off here like so. So now we have imported the GraphQL error from GraphQL and the Apollo error from Apollo client. And then I can delete these comments because we've created them now. So now if I save 
and now have a few mocks in here. I have all of my films data. I have a successful all films mock, an errored all films mock, and then my get all films wrapper, which is essentially a higher order component that is mocking the use query hook that we have and is the use all films hook that we have and then passing in the wrapper as the second argument. So in here now, what I want to do is pass in the successful all films mock because this is the all films when successful in here. So now if I save all, we should expect a result to be defined because essentially this is working. So if we test again one more time, this test is now passing, which is correct. So now that that test is working correctly, what I want to do is add another test to check that the correct data is being rendered. So first of all, I have an async in here and I want to do await, wait for. In here, I want to check for the expect the result.current to equal a certain object. So let's do that. So expect result.current to equal, and then this is going to be an object of loading of false error of undefined and then the data of old film data which is what we defined in our mocks so now all we need to do is close this await for block off as well in here like so so now if i save all and then i run this test again let's see if this one passes which it does in here as well so essentially when we pass in a successful all films mock then that works if what if i typed in an error see if it still works which it shouldn't do because what we have done is define that differently. So if I now save and then run the test again, this test should now fail because the result is completely different. It should return and receive an error here. Oops, the fetch was unsuccessful. So if I go back and return it to successful old film mock in here like so, run the test again. Now that test is working correctly. So I just need to do the same thing again, but this time it's going to be for an error. So let's uncommon this one out after the after each i'm going to instead of the successful is going to be the error so error all films mock in here then i want to expect the result to be defined which is what we have done so i'm going to create a new it block in here just underneath of expect the result to be defined like so and then this test should pass because we should have a result, which it does. And then instead of this object being returned, all we now need to do is expect a different outcome. So if I just copy the result.current, this should be undefined now. Let's just check if that works and save. What will happen is this test will fail as well because the error is not undefined this time. The error is a GraphQL error. So as you can see here, it says Apollo error, oops, the fetch was unsuccessful. We need to define the error in here. So what we have done in our error response is we have done the following, which is a new Apollo error, which is of GraphQL errors. And then this is unsuccessful in here. So let's just copy this and paste it in this one here. What you also want to do is import these from the relevant places we need them from. So now if I save and run this test again, as you can see now, we have done a successful response and an error response in here as well like so. So that is how you would test a use query custom hook using the mocked provider. We create our mocks in our separate mocks folder. In the test, we just import them and expect the relevant outcomes coming from the result.current, which we have created in our custom hook, which is the get all films wrapper in here. And the same for this one as well. So now what I also want to do is check to see if our components are rendering the correct data also. So if we go in our film container component, I'm just going to create a new file in the components folder called filmcontainer.test.tsx. So this is what you would also expect in a production environment. So we will need to test to see if this receives the correct data. So we will use the old film mock data that we have created in here. So all we need to do is we want to render the film container component. So let's create a describe block first of all. And the first argument is always a string that contains what you expect this to be. So this is the film container. And then I just want to close this off. And in here, I'm just going to have an after each as well of cleanup. And then we just need to import this in from our testing library React. And we just need to close this after each off in here. And then I'm just going to be testing a simple test. So let's just create a simple test for now, like so. And the test is going to be should render the correct information in the component. So that's essentially what it is. So now save all. 
and now I need to delete this and I want to render the component so let's render the component first of all which is the film container and this receives uh, props in here so the film is equal to and I'm going to just pass in the old films data coming from the mocks in here so if we just double check that is essentially all the film's data in here. So what we want to do now is go into it deeper. So it will be all films data dot all films dot films. And we just want to access the first index in here. So what I could do is create an object in here of const props and film is going to be equal to all films data. If I just close this off, dot all films dot films. And we want the first index in here like so. And I also need to import render from testing library react. The film container is being imported from the relevant component here. And now all I want to do is spread in the props here. So that's how you spread in props. So now if I save, okay, so now we have an array in here. So let's just check what that is. So type string is not assignable to type string in an array. So let's go into the type. So in our films type in here, all we need to do is get this and paste it in here like so. And then that should fix the error, which it has done also. So now all I want to do is quick fix this. So now in my test, I just want to get access to the text. So essentially get by text of a new hope, George Lucas, date and also the producer name and I expect them to be in the document so now if I save all I now need to do is run the test so there is an error here so let's just see what the error is so the error says unable to find an element with the text a new hope this could be because the text is broken by multiple elements in this case you can provide a function for your text matcher to make it more flexible or let me just see if I can just quickly do red checks on this to see if this passes and we can comment the, the rest out so expect a new hope to be in the document if we rerun the test you can see that it's working correctly and it would be the same for these ones as well this should now pass if i just rerun the test again screen dot get by text a new hope and you can put these in variables to make them more neater but this is just a simple test to see that the text is rendering correctly from my all films object in here and the text is correct so to test that this is working if i was to change a new hope in here and delete and save and then rerun this test in film container this will now fail because a new hope is not in the document in here as you can see it's a knee hope so let's just go back to that and save all and then rerun this test and now this test should also pass which it has done so that is the two ways to unit test with apollo client we have our query test in here which uses certain mocks and we also have our component test where we can test to see if the relevant fetch data text renders onto our screen in here so what i will do now is create a new branch uh, in here so it check out dash b and this new branch is the completed build and then i will commit these changes onto there and this final build will be in the links below as well i hope you like this video and it helped you a lot please like and subscribe so i can make more of these videos but for now i will see you on the next video thanks